Hi guys, welcome to Digital Tech Join. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your ASP.NET web application on AWS cloud platform. So let's get started. I'm going to create a new project in Visual Studio 2022. Click on project, select ASP.NET MVC model, click on next, say first web app on first AWS deployment. This is the project name, first AWS deployment, click on next, untick configure for HTTPS, target is 6.0, click on create. So our application is loaded. Let's go ahead and add a new controller or an add a new view instead of a default view. Just copy this index page and copy and paste it and just change it to my first AWS page. And let's create a view, add view, add view, select a Razor empty view and add it. <coughs> Let's copy this into our my first ASP page, AWS page, and just say AWS deployment. And my first AWS asp.net web app deployment on AWS cloud platform so I will not get into much how AWS is working deployment I'm showing showing a method how do you quickly upload your web app on cloud so let's run this and just once before we deploy it on AWS and guys, if you want to know more about AWS Cloud Computing, I have started a series of tutorials. Today, I'd upload one more video explaining how to do user management on AWS. Kindly, please do subscribe and like my videos. So, this is the page and I'll just call my page, which I just created, my first AWS page. So, this is a page that we will be able to see when we deploy it on, on AWS platform. So this is a page, this is a simple application. Now let's go ahead and deploy it. Now in order to deploy our web application on AWS, we need to add some SDK and tool that will enable us to post our solution on AWS. So let's, so in order to install that, click on extensions on the menu and just next to the tools, click on manage extension. Now click on online and search for AWS. So right over here, AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio 2022. This is what we wanted. Click on download. <coughs> it's downloading AWS Toolkit for Visual Studio 2022. So next is scheduled for install. Okay, this will be installed. Now your changes will be the scheduled. The modification will begin when all visual microsoft visual studio windows are closed so let's do one thing let's go ahead and close the project and then reopen it again here's the project okay so schedule task so this is what once i open it again it it is now installing guys during the installation it it prompted me to close the visual studio which i had opened so i closed that and now it is download is completed it is finishing up the installation So installation of our toolkit is completed. You can see the message over here. AWS toolkit for Visual Studio 2022 is installed successfully. Click on close and now you open our project. We'll open Visual Studio. And we'll open our project which we had created. First AWS deployment. 
so now when you go back to your extension on the top menu next to the tools you'll be able to see our click on install and you see it is already installed in your extension now in order to deploy our application to our AWS cloud we need to have a AWS account okay with a valid access key so it's secret key and the access key is required now I already logged into my AWS account which is this okay and um, right now I have not created any access key I'll show it to you how do you create an access key so click come back to your visual studio click on view and you can see there's an option added called AWS Explorer click on AWS Explorer and expand this left hand side menu you see that there is a credential regions and right now it says no credential selected you click on this plus sign now profile name is default and then this is a shared credential file and here it is prompting to enter the access key id and the secret key secret access key and the region is by default mumbai so in order to provide this information i log into my aws account you can create your own free aws free tier account which uh, for which i have already created a video you can go ahead and watch that video it's right over here on in my channel so if you see i've already created two videos on aws cloud computing platform one to create a free tier account second is how to create and secure your root users and create another user for login so please go ahead and watch this now we're coming back to our account in order to create an secret key id click on iam service or search for iam service in the top search box and when you come to an identity and access management console on your right hand side you can see quick links and where it says my security credential click on my security credential and then click on access keys now here I have not created any access key, so I'm going to create one new access key. Create new access key. So when I click on new create access key, it it has created an access key which will have your access key ID and secret key, which will be pro provided over here. Guys, I have copied my access key ID and the secret key, secret access key from my console, AWS console, and now I click on OK. So you see on the left hand side it successfully connected to my AWS account and it has listed some of the services that you might require while you are deploying the application on AWS cloud but however you don't have to worry about individuals accessing individual services and doing some configuration everything will be handled automatically by the Visual Studio and the toolkit that we had installed. Now in order to deploy your website right click on the project and select the option publish to AWS okay don't select public publish to aws elastic beanstalk because this is legacy approach select the latest one published to aws In the moment you click on publish to aws your toolkit will be enabled and now it will give you options for deploying where do you want to deploy on a linux environment or windows fragat and these are the different tool containers that are provided by aws i am going ahead with AWS.NET Core App to AWS ASP.NET Core App to AWS Elastic Beanstalk on Windows. So Beanstalk is a service of AWS that provides a container to deploy all your required libraries and run your application. So I am selecting this option. Once you select the option, it gives you the name of the application name. By default, it is take the project's name. Now click on the Edit setting and these are the settings required before you do the deployment so these are the terms maybe you will not be aware right now but as and when you learn my course in youtube on aws you'll come to know each and every service that is provided for now just understand aws we are deploying our solution on aws elastic beanstalk on windows everything will be taken care by aws itself so now if you scroll down this is the name of the application that is a elastic beanstalk application name compute compute is nothing but the server capacity now here i am going to select the the smallest right now so i select t2 so there is t2 micro make sure that you select t2 micro you don't have to go for your i end servers 
and note that I am doing this on my AWS free tier account, not on the paid account. Okay, so now this is T2 micro comes under free tier. So I'm, I don't have to worry about any charges. Then permission, let, let it create a new IAM role. IAM is identity access management, which you will learn in my video, which is published today only on YouTube. Please go and watch that. And then it is going to deploy on the latest IIS 10.0 running on Windows Server 2019. Let it be like that. Then here it is saying enable enable manage platform update right now i don't want any update because i'm showing a demo to you guys i don't want any update to be done right now then it is deployed on ias website and finally is there anything which i missed out no so health monitoring so it says health monitoring enhanced i don't want it i'll select the basic health monitoring as of now so these are the couple of things which i have selected now once you do this you just need to click on publish and it prompts whether you want to continue to do the publishing you say yes the moment I say yes, now these are the wizard, these are the step of procedures that will run and deploy my application on AWS cloud. So there are three things. One is creating deployment zip bundle, to the entire project which you can see on the left, left hand side, it will be zipped and deployed. Then it will configure the AWS development kit and finally it will start doing the deployment. What happens in the background is something that you, once you initiate this command, okay it will create a server it will create a t2 micro instance server it will create an IIS web web server instance it will deploy your source code it will bundle your source code in zip file and deploy it on on aws then it will create an elastic id so why why elastic id is because you are deploying it on the cloud so whenever you can't give any ip address to access your page you'll have to give a domain name it will create an elastic id it will create the security it will create a load balancing server everything will be created in this wizard and then once it is done it is it will prompt you that it is successfully deployed and give you an url now while this is getting deployed on the cloud aws cloud you can also log into your aws console which i have done over here and you search for beanstalk so elastic beanstalk if you, when you click on this you'll notice one thing that when i refresh it will it's going it's it's creating so it is already so if you look at over here elastic beanstalk service here application so here is first aws deployment okay which is currently doing it so if we click on this it is setting up the environment so we will wait so it is deploying it first aws deployment so this is this created but it's still not refreshed So we'll just wait currently it is five of eight so it is all this this deployment procedure going on so the deployment is still in progress and you can see six of six processes are completed out of eight the two remaining as i told you while this is happening we can go to the console and also check the status over there and in your aws console on your dashboard search for beanstalk and if you click on elastic beanstalk you see there is the application created and it is currently health is gray that is the work is happening if you click on this link you'll see it will load a console where it will show you all the status of creating of instance creating of ip address and everything it is similar to the one which is happening over here so both are running it's it's the same one only difference is here it is happening within the visual studio using the toolkit and once you log in and if you go to bean elastic bean you can see the status is happening also over here you can see the trails and if you click on the application name and then deployment you can see all the processes is happening so let's hold on while it is creating and setup it takes it takes around 5 to 10 minutes guys so the process is completed so if you see it process got started at 9 44 15 seconds pm and then it ended around 
9.58 so this is how it took total around uh, more than 10 minutes but yes it got successfully deployed so it gave the time over here also and then it also gave an url over here so it says successfully published asp.net app on aws elastic beanstalk on windows and then it gave the url this is the endpoint this is the url that is got de deployed on aws this url can be shared with your end user to access your website if you go to your amazon console you see the beanstalk showing a status is health is green and here also it is successfully deployed it and this you can see the same status trail is displayed over here too so if you go through it it creates an environment then it creates an instance creates a public ip address then it assigns a load balancing security group and then deploys your source code on iis that is how it completes the entire setup automatically now let's go ahead and select the url click on the url to see the magic yes so you can see the url is active you can just copy and just you can paste it and the page is displayed successfully you have successfully deployed your asp.net core application on amazon cloud platform now here if you recollect that created one more view i'll try to access that page now i said home slash my first aws page and i click on enter yes congratulations you are able to even access our view that we created and successfully we are able to access it deploy it and access that page on aws so guys thank you very much for watching this video request everybody to subscribe to my channel for such quick tutorials and useful tutorials to like and share my channel with your tech buddies and also do come and visit my channel for aws tutorials which i have recently launched so it will be very helpful for you to understand the services and going forward you'll be able to i'm going to explain various services in detail like in this case when you deployed something in, on aws right now it created a lot of services internally like it created an e e easy to instance which we are able to see over here which is running so this all these things will be explained in my tutorial on aws cloud computing but as of now we have successfully shown you how to deploy your asp.net application on aws cloud thank you guys for your time keep visiting